Now take your book. Sasa chukua daftari lako. We are going to study. Tunakwenda kujifunza. The church must be taught. Kanisa lazima lifundishwe. The church must be taught. Kanisa lazima lifundishwe. We are in new life. Tupo katika maisha mapya. Because we are in the new life, kwa sababu tupo katika maisha mapya, the language there is new to us. Maisha ya huko ni mapya kwetu. The language lugha ya huko ni mpya kwetu because we have new life kwa sababu ni maisha mapya the language also is new hivyo hata maisha yenyewe pia ni mapya so we need to learn that language tunahitaji kujifunza hiyo lugha and principle of living na kanuni za kuishi pia because we are in new territory kwa sababu tupo katika himaya mpya so we need to learn the principle of how to live there hivyo tunahitaji kujifunza kanuni namna ya kuishi huko upande wa pili there is lifestyle standard of law kuna aina fulani ya maisha so we need to understand the law of that new country hivyo tunahitaji kujifunza sheria ya nchi hiyo mpya because we are in new life kwa sababu tupo territory maisha mapya na himaya mpya new law sheria mpya new principle kanuni mpya a new people na watu wapya hallelujah hallelujah yes ndio you know me unanijua i know you but you are new lakini wewe ni mpya so i need to know you nahitaji kukujua is who you are now kama ulivyo sasa so the problem why are we fighting tatizo kwa nini tunapigana and ignore to each other na tunajijua ignore to each other tukipuuziana wenyewe kwa wenyewe the, the 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 problem is this tatizo ni hili we don't know who he is or who he is hatujui ni nani huyo because that person is a new person kwa sababu mtu huyo ni mtu mpya kabisa so don't live with that person because he is your wife kwa usiishi na mtu huyo kwa sababu tu ni mkeo no he is a new born ye amezaliwa upya he is a new creature ni kiumbe kipya something in him kuna kitu ndani yake growing kinakuwa there is new character kuna tabia mpya inachipuka am i talking to somebody naongea na mtu mmoja because the person is growing kwa sababu huyo mtu anakuwa in a new life katika maisha mapya there is new character kuna tabia mpya growing in him inakuwa ndani yake so you need to understand the person unahitaji kumuelewa mtu huyo by understanding the growth kwa kumuelewa namna anavyokuwa au kuchipuka ndani yake elia kunda knows me as a husband kunda anajua mimi kama mume but i'm new creature lakini mimi ni kiumbe kipya growing nakuwa so there is something growing in me kuna kitu kinakuwa ndani yangu Eliakunda must know that Eliakunda inabidi ajue hilo The way I grow kwa kadri ninavyokuwa there is some character kuna baadhi ya tabia appearing zinaonekana manifesting zinadhihirika through me kupitia mimi So he will, sometimes he will despise that one Muda mwingine anaweza kupuuzia jambo hilo Or say what is this Au anasema hii ni kitu gani tena I'm not used to this. Mr. Jazoya mambo haya. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So we start fighting. Hivyo tunaanza kupigana. Arguing. Tunabishana because of ignorance. Kwa sababu ya kutokujua. We are new creature. Ni viumbe vipya. 
new life maisha mapya new territory hima ya mpya. new principles na kanuni mpya new character na tabia mpya can i repeat nirudie so many christians wa kristu wengi born again wamezaliwa mara ya pili but still lakini bado do not understand who they are hawaelewi wao ni nani and they don't understand others too na pia hawajui wenzao ni akina nani that is why they fight they ignore hii ndio maana despise wanapigana wanadharauiana wenyewe kwa wenyewe because they don't know who they are kwa sababu hawajitambui wao ni akina nani in this life katika maisha haya we are in new life tell your neighbor you are in new life mambeje nako tupo katika maisha mapya understand in your mind elewa katika akili yako i'm no longer the same person mimi sio mtu yule yule tena so i have to learn lazima nijifunze the principle of that new life kanuni za maisha yale mapya if you want to walk properly in that life kama unataka kutembea vizuri na kwa usahihi this is the principle number one. hii ndio ni kanuni namba moja. i'm giving to you nakupa wewe the life of repentance ishi maisha ya toba the life of repentance maisha toba if you want to be in that new life kama unataka kukaa katika maisha mapya the re- repentance life maisha toba is the life of salvation ni maisha ya wokovu if you are born again kama umezaliwa mara ya pili Repentance is your lifestyle. Toba ndio haina yako ya maisha. Hello? Am I talking to somebody? Naongea na mtu mmoja. Am I talking to somebody? Naongea na mtu mmoja. So salvation, hivyo wokovu is the life of reborn. Ni maisha ya aliyezaliwa upya is new ni maisha mapya salvation life is for those who recognize themselves wokovu ni kwa wale wanaojitambua they are recognize themselves as a sinners wanaojitambua kwamba wao ni wenye dhambi need repentance wanahitaji toba are we together Naunga, no matter moja. how level you are haijalishi uko kiwango gani no matter how powerful anointing you carry haijalishi umebeba upako wa aina gani make sure that theory is in your mind hakikisha hiyo kanuni inakaa kwenye akili yako jambo lingine repentance is an act toba ni maisha au ni tendo to those who recognize themselves kwa wale ambao wanajitambua they need to turn wanahitaji kugeuka to god kwa mungu to the creator kwa muumbaji point 3 jambo la tatu repentance means a confession ni ukili you do before god unaofanya mbele za mungu and welcoming jesus christ na kumruhusu yesu as a savior and the lord kama mwokozi na bwana and welcoming him to live in you unamkaribisha aishi ndani yako so salvation hivyo wokovu starts unaanza with repentance na toba When you allow him ukishamruhusu yeye to dwell in you akae ndani yako you are no longer you living wewe sio wewe tena unaeishi 
is him living bali ni yeye anaishi showing you helping you how to start akikuonyesha na kukusaidia namna ya kuanza until you become mpaka unakuwa in the highest of Christ katika cheo cha juu cha Kristo are we together tuko pamoja all it is written in Ephesians chapter 4 yote yameandikwa kwenye kitabu cha Ephesus 12 to 13 12:15 Salvation walk off another point salvation is a life of Jesus Christ to someone is life wokovu ni maisha ya Yesu Kristo katika mtu is the life of Christ ni maisha ya Kristo in somebody's life katika maisha ya mtu so when you know that ukishajua hivyo You know salvation is a grace. Unajua wokovu ni neema. Not by your power. Sio kwa nguvu zako. Not by your might. Sio kwa uwezo wako. Not by your understanding and knowledge you have. Sio kwa ufahamu na maarifa ulionayo. No, is a grace of God. Hii ni neema ya Mungu. So if it is a grace of God, kama ni neema ya Mungu, you have to remind yourself day by day. Lazima ujikumbushe mwenyewe siku kwa siku. Is a grace. Kwamba hii ni neema. 